So we've had a bit of an adventure trying to film this video in that I did it once, it didn't go well enough. This is take two, but now it's getting quite dark out. And I don't usually film when it's more dark out because I don't know how to do lighting. It always looks really bad when I try to film it at night. So if this looks really bad, I'll just redo it again tomorrow morning. What is up guys and welcome back to Bob's Watches. So my name is Brittany, AKA Watch Gringa. And on the day I'm filming, it's Boxing Day. That's why my tree's still up. I hope you all are having a gorgeous holiday season. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate at this time of the year. Winter solstice, I don't care. I hope it's been very happy. So New Year's is upon us and this is gonna be my first New Year's going out. Gosh, it's been a very long time. Definitely my first time going out since like the ancient time of before COVID, BC. So I'm excited, I'm gonna get all dressed up, I'm gonna wear uncomfortable heeled shoes. It's gonna be awesome. And of course, I'm gonna need the perfect dress watch to go with my outfit. Actually, I'd love to know what's your favorite dress watch? What's your go-to dress watch? My husband is his JLC Master Control. My go-to dress watch is my Cartier Tank Solo. But as I get ready for party season, it kind of begs the question, what constitutes a dress watch? What makes a dress watch a dress watch? The watch snob part of me wants to say, oh, like it can only be two hand, Oh, maybe a small sub seconds. No date and thin enough to go under a dress cuff. So a small, unobtrusive, simple watch. But there's also lots of not dress watches that look really good in formal situations. I just recently went to a semi-formal occasion in my Rolex Daytona and I thought it looked dang cool. Or my husband sometimes dresses up his rose gold Aquanaut. So what I feel like I'm learning as I go is there are no rules. You can truly make it up as you go. Life is short. Wear the watches that you want to wear. James Bond famously wore his Rolex Submariner with a suit. And he still continues to wear a Seamaster with a suit. So we can do it too. James Bond said so. So today we are rounding up the best watches you can wear for your New Year's Eve celebrations. Some of them are more sporty styles and some of them are the more classic dress watch kind of styling. With all that boring intro stuff out of the way, let's get into it. So much yes! A beyond underrated watch, a watch we do not give enough time and attention to, the Omega or Omega DeVille. This is such a classy and refined watch. I think some of these are slightly more sporty and some of them are slightly more dressy. Since the 1960s, the Omega de Ville has always been associated with those simple and sophisticated timepieces. My personal favorite on the website right now is actually a vintage one, circa 1967. So it's a vintage men's watch coming in at 34 millimeters, which is actually considered quite small for modern men's wristwatches but I love smaller watches on men and I feel like it's gonna be more of a trend for men to wear smaller and smaller watches in the coming years. But perfectly suitable for a woman as well. Style, class, and that vintage aging. I love it. And you know, buying a luxury watch doesn't have to be like $10,000 plus. You can still get a vintage Omega at a reasonable price, loads of brand recognition, and a statement piece. So if you know me or follow my personal channel, you will know I'm a massive Cartier fangirl. I joined the cult. I'm in the cult to Cartier. And it just so happened I was perusing the Bob's Watches website and found my all-time favorite Cartier Santos. The medium-sized two-tone Cartier Santos. So we have the all-steel version, which is really cool, but if it was up to me, I would choose the two-tone all day, every day. And when I say we have, my husband has. It's actually a soft spot right now. Uh, I'm so jealous. 
heritage class and a little piece of history on your wrist, the Cartier Santos is the first ever modern men's wristwatch created by Louis Cartier for his aviator pilot friend Alberto Santos Dumont. I love this watch guys, I feel like it lives somewhere between masculine and feminine. Soft curves, Roman numerals, then contrasted with like these harsh industrial screws. I also can't tell if it's a dress watch or a sports watch, it's just kind of both at the same time. The version available on the Bob's website right now is the newest version, so you can see the bezel fades really nicely into the bracelet. And this version comes with some pretty dang cool features as well. So 100 meters water resistance, mechanical movement, the caliber 1847 MC. But my personal favorite feature is the bracelet. So Cartier has a smart link system, which makes it really easy to take links out or swap the bracelet. So there's these tiny buttons on the other side of the bracelet. They're almost hidden and you can just press the button and pop a little pin comes out and you're able to change the bracelet size really easily. Same with swapping the strap. It's just a little button at the top, easily comes off and then pops back into place. Bracelets like this are just like one of those little tiny things, these practical things that just make me so happy. This is the kind of bracelet technology people want and I think more watch companies need to start focusing on these details. Anyways, get one of these while you can. I truly think it's gonna be one of the next big hype pieces that's gonna be hard to get a hold of. If I say Patek, you probably think of one of two things. Either grand complications in precious metals, perpetual calendar chronographs, grand sonneries, minute repeaters, that kind of stuff. Or you think about that 1970s iconic steel sports watch, the Nautilus. But Patek Philippe also does some beautiful and simple dress watches as well. The simple golden ellipse or the funky shapes and curves of the gondolo. But to me, the quintessential Patek dress watch has got to be the Calatrava. To me, this is what the essence of a dress watch is. Simple, minimal, the watch doesn't overpower or overtake, she just humbly and quietly does her job. Just so many little elegant touches to this watch as well, the, the Roman numerals, the clue de Paris around the case. It's a really refined choice of watch. Like if I ever saw someone wearing one of these in the wild, I'd be like, ooh, like they get it. They know. <laughs> Okay guys, I couldn't help myself. I had to put this one in. I just love this watch. <laughs> this one is opulent and a forever icon, the Rolex President Day Date. There are so many variations of this watch, so find the one that speaks to you, whether it's white gold, yellow gold, Roman numerals, baton, indices, the list goes on. This watch has always been a symbol of prestige and a staple of powerful people, notably American presidents. I don't know much about American presidents. I gotta be real with you here, guys. I'm a Canadian who lives in the UK now, so it's not my area of expertise. So I Googled it. So notable presidents who wore this day date include Lyndon B. Johnson, Gerald Ford, Bill Clinton, and love him or hate him, the Trump man himself. This is not a political video, this is not a political channel. They're just simple facts. But this is such a classy Rolex staple. I would honestly love to add a full like precious metal Rolex to my life when I sort my finances out. One day I will do it. <laughs> it's one of those watches that only gets better with age. Love it. Okay, this one's a cheeky ad. This is an extremely cheeky ad, but uh, I'm putting it in. It's absolutely not a dress watch, but I really think a dress watch can be whatever you say it is. Well, no, that's not actually correct because a dress watch definitely is its own unique category. It's not quite right. Perhaps let's word it like this. What you choose to wear to formal occasions is completely and absolutely up to you. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if it's good enough for James Bond, it's good enough for me. 
I feel like you can absolutely dress up the Submariner. I love a steel subby, but I'm especially thinking of the precious metal and two-tone versions of the Submariner. I mean, I wouldn't recommend you wear this to a black tie event, but a, pretty much anything under black tie, I feel like you could pull it off. 100% would not be offended by a man in a suit wearing a subby, or a woman in like a nice dress wearing a Submariner. I've actually always thought the Submariner is really hot in a woman. It's just like the femininity contrasted with like a very masculine sporty watch. I love it. All right guys, I've waffled on quite long enough. I don't even know if this is gonna be usable because I think the lighting could be really bad. I just don't know how to do lighting. Anyways, waffled on enough, Brittany. I just love talking about dress watches. I love getting dressed up and uh, finding the perfect watch to go with my outfit. What are your New Year's plans? Do you have anything awesome planned? What watch are you gonna wear? Tell us everything in those comments down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to Bob's Watches. Give this video a like, a comment, do all those awesome things to feed the algorithm gods. Have a very happy New Year's, guys, and may 2022 be a banner year for you and your families. I hope it's wonderful. Until we see you next time, guys. Au revoir. I don't know why I said au revoir. I was just trying to seem classy.